Hi, my name is Adrian Delgado, Arvada, Colorado. Uh, today we're going to learn about a, a, a small teaching about some uh, spiritual warfare. Um, Nehemiah 4.20 <coughs> says this. <coughs> Let's, um, Wherever you hear the sound of the trumpet, rally to us there, and our God will fight for us. Hallelujah. Um, and Nehemiah was uh, assigned to... Uh, uh, build the wall, but just like anything else, as as we get our assignments from God, there is an enemy. You know, there's a uh, there's a saying that says, "New levels, new devils." So I just want to say that uh, as God is assigning you, as God gives you your marching orders, expect adversity. Um, but I'm here to say that God is the one that fights for us. So, like I said, Nehemiah 4:20 says, uh, "Wherever you hear the sound of the trumpet, rally to us." And our God will fight for us. So he's the one that fights, fights for us. So I just want to encourage you to, 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 to obey whatever the Lord has for you. Hallelujah. Um, my teaching is, is going to be on, on, I guess it would be the veracity and the, and the tenacity and the actual, uh, uh, the way that we warfare. Okay. A lot of times, uh, uh, we come up against battle, uh, and we're revealed what we're supposed to do, and but we don't take that the 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 the, the right stance. We don't take it. We don't fight with the right um, uh, velocity. We need to be able to to stand up and fight, but we need need to be able to be violent about it. Um, actually, in in the word Matthew um, eleven. 11 says this surely I say to you among those born of women there has not risen one greater than John the Baptist but he who is the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he so verse 12 is the one that I wanted to, to point out is and from the days of John the Baptist until now the kingdom of heaven suffers violence and the violent take it by force hallelujah so John the Baptist was beheaded for the, for, for the kingdom of God. And so uh, every other apostle and Christians, Stephen, I mean, Paul was beaten five times, left for dead. These people were, the, for the, they were suffering violence for the kingdom of God. But, you know, the, like, like I said in verse 12, it says, but the, and the violent take it by force. So that's something where I wanted I wanted to speak to and regarding is how we're supposed to do it. We're supposed to respond with that same radical um, uh, fervor, that same radical response, and say, "No, we're not going to take it anymore. We're not going to have it. We're not going to. Well, we're no longer going to deal with this." So, Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. So, um, I do want to do one more um, one more verse. It's in Second Kings. And it's a, it's a it's a passage actually, and and it it talks about the same thing. This is and this is Second uh, Kings thirteen, verse sixteen. It says and then he said to the king of Israel, "Put your hand on the bow." So he put his hand on it, and Elijah put his hand on the king's hand, and he said, "Open the east window." He opened it. Then Elisha said, "Shoot," and he shot. And he said, the arrow of the Lord's deliverance and the arrow of the deliverance from Syria. For you must strike the Syrians at Aphek till, they, till you have destroyed them. Amen. Then he said, take the arrows. So he took them. And he said to the king of Israel, strike the ground. So he struck it three times and stopped. And the man of God was angry. With him and said, You should have struck it five or six times. Then you would have struck Syria till you have destroyed it. But now you only strike Syria only three times. So there again, it's it's we cannot um, be passive about it. We cannot only strike it three times. We have to strike it and strike it and strike it and strike it until it's done. We have to pray and pray and pray and pray and pray it through until you get that victory. Stand. Stay up all night. Wake up when, when God wakes you up. Hallelujah. You're in, a, you're in a war. You're in a battle. You have to fight for what's yours. You have to fight for your inheritance. You have to fight or else the, the enemy's going to come. 
And the enemy is going to come with the same. It says that the, the, the kingdom of God suffers violence, but the, but, the, but the violent take it by force. Hallelujah. So I just wanted to give you that small nugget. I wanted to just say that, hey, when you, when you are coming to a battle, with, and you will, you must be able to stand. You must be stand with tenacity, veracity. I mean, you have to stand with, with, with everything that you got. And when, it, when, when, when <clears throat> you've done everything that you could, you still have to stand and, and wait on the Lord. Hallelujah. So I love you guys. Um, I, I, I thank you guys for tuning in. I just want you guys to, uh, uh, to be equipped. I, I, I believe that, uh, you know, that this, this, this video will, will enable you, kind of maybe give you that extra edge to know that, hey, um, you fight. You fight for what's yours. You fight for what God has given you. And uh, uh, be blessed. Hallelujah. Until next time, uh, please subscribe to us, share us, uh, like us. Get it out. Get the word out. Get it. Get the word out to all the people that don't know Jesus. Jesus is coming soon, and and we just want to be able to 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 preach the word to him. But we want to give him an opportunity to receive what we have to receive, you know, from God that everlasting life. So, I just uh, uh, leave a comment if you want to. But share us, like us, spread it around, spread the good news, spread the gospel. It's not about a, a, a YouTube channel. What it is, is it's about spreading the gospel. It's about spreading the good news, about giving life to the hopeless, giving hope to where, 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 where there's, there's no hope. So um, I love you guys. Till next time. Thanks.